Okay, so how do we import total stations data or you can say the survey data into the AutoCAD? Hey guys, I'm Suleiman Khan and you're watching the engineer boy. Let's just jump into the survey data. As you can see in the Excel, we have this survey data, okay? Just like in farm up north, east, and then we have elevation too. So how we can plot this data in the same AutoCAD? Okay, I'll be using R2K 2021. You can use any version, does not matter. And in this video, actually, I'll be showing you two ways or you can say two methods just to import the same data. Okay, the first method in which I'll be using is WDTM. It is like a plugin, you can say. And the another method or you can say in the method two, I'll be just directly importing the same data without any plugin. Okay, so let's try SWDTM first. Make sure you have open AutoCAD and then let's just click over here and make sure you double click. And as you can see, this is just a, you can say a plugin, okay, just a toolbar. You can see that, okay, it is just um, 2014 version. You can download it from the um, Google, it's completely free, okay. I'll just provide link in the description. You can also just download it from my uh drive okay i'll just put it over there so let's just do it okay let's jump into the same uh excel file and let me just remove the first row i'll just delete date one and then let me just delete uh the elevations okay in the second method i'll be just adding elevations too okay so we can learn this both methods okay so let's me just delete this guy now as you can see we have north and then east and let's go to the file and let me just save this is on the desktop okay so on the desktop and let's call or maybe we can switch to the type which is csv okay so let's search for the csv over here so csv comma delimited i think that is okay and let's click save and okay and then yes okay so let's just close the excel file i don't want to save that one now as you can see i'm in the same autocad and over here we have a drop down which is actually points and over there we have an option called import points from excel and there we have import points from file let me just click import points from file and as you can see we have point levels okay that is 0.25 does not matter you can just put any value over there okay import points let's click that and now that will actually navigate us to the you can say dialog box called open and we are we can just specify the location as you can see we have on the desktop and this is the preview okay the north and the east okay so click open now the AutoCAD will actually just import those points for you what we're gonna do is just to zoom extend so Z space and E space and that will actually extend the zoom and as you can see these are our points okay you can call them Kogo points uh, maybe the uh, total stations points okay now next I'm going to type P type in the command bar so we can just change the point style let me just click this one and let's say the scale is going to be one unit okay that is just the percentage and click OK now as you can see these are our points okay now let's jump into the second method where I'll be importing the same data into the AutoCAD without using any plugin. Okay, so let's just jump into the Excel now. As you can see, we have the same data, north, east, and elevation, where I'll be just using a function or you can say a formula called concatenant. Okay, you can just type equal sign in the separate column and then you can just type concatenant. Okay, or you can just type C O N and double click on this. Okay. Now, what I'm going to plot first is actually the north, okay? Now you can just uh, type comma and then these columns, okay? Uh, or maybe you can say double commas, okay? No problem, does not matter what we call them, okay? So just type the same commas in the same pattern as I'm doing, okay? Now I'm going to plot east, okay? You can just specify the same cell. And if you need to um, plot the elevations, you're gonna do the same thing again, okay? Comma, double comma, and then comma. And then specify the uh, elevation cells, okay? And if you don't need to plot the elevations, you can just uh, 
close the bracket over here like this one okay and does not matter it will work for you as you can see in this time we will just add the elevations too so let's just close the bracket and then press enter now what this formula does actually it provides a comma okay or a separation between the northeast and elevation as you can see these are just the commas okay now double click over here the um, bottom right corner so we can apply the same formula to the same uh, points okay to the other points you can say and you can just copy this column okay by right clicking and then click copy or you can also do control C does not matter okay let's jump into the AutoCAD and over here you can just type multiple okay so we can just activate the multiple points over here okay now just type point and then press enter okay what you're gonna do is just to paste all those points over here okay and the AutoCAD will do the remaining work for you okay that's done press escape and zoom extend by z space and e space as you can see the data is just been plotted okay you can change the point style just by p type and then press enter and let's say this time this is going to be okay and click okay these are all points you can confirm by id any point does not matter okay id click over here it will show you the x and y over here and as you can see the z video has already been plotted over here okay which is actually 679.693 meters okay that means there is z you can also do 3do okay just try 3do to see actually what's happening over here as you can see some points are just at elevation okay as you can see each point has different elevation so we can just import the same data without any plugin okay in the same method hey if you like these top videos please hit that subscribe button because that helps me a lot see you in the next video